Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I've done a number of deep space tutorials. Now I'll show you how to make the sun with its solar winds, fiery explosions, and massive magnetic forces. We'll start by making a new document. Go to File and New. We'll name the document Sun and make the width and height 2000 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. We want to fill it with black. Make sure your foreground and background colors are black and white respectively. If they're not, click on the black and white double box icon or press D on your keyboard. Press Alt Delete on a PC or Option Delete on a Mac to fill it with a foreground color. To fit the document on your screen, press Control-0 on a PC or Command-0 on a Mac. Open your elliptical marquee tool, go to the center, press and hold Shift and Alt or Shift and Option as you drag out a circular selection to approximately two-thirds of the distance to the edge of the document. Click on the New Layer button to make a new layer. Go to Filter, Render, and Clouds. Go back to Filter, Render, and Difference Clouds. Click Control or Command F to invoke the last filter. Repeat this seven or eight times to increase the complexity of the swirling patterns. Delete the selection by pressing Control or Command D. We're ready to give our sun some color. Click on the Adjustment Layer button and choose Gradient Map. Click on the Gradient box and click on the lower left stop. Click the color box and type in 6A0202. Click below the gradient bar to create a new stop. Next to location, type in 30%. For this color, type in C2 and four zeros. Make a new stop and type in 65% for its location. The color is FDCA3C. Click on the white lower stop and type in 80% for its location. Next, we'll spherize it. Make the sun layer active and go to Filter, Distort, and Spherize. Make the amount 100% and repeat it again. Let's reduce its overall size with the Transform tool. Press Control or Command T. Go to a corner and when you see a straight double arrow, press and hold Shift and Alt or Shift and Option as you drag it in. Then press Enter or Return. Let's surround our sun with a radial glow. Merge the Gradient Map Adjustment layer with the sun by going to the top layer and Shift clicking on it. This highlights both layers. Now press Control or Command E. Make a copy of it by pressing Control or Command J. Click on the original sun layer to make it active and go to Filter, Blur, and Radial Blur. Make the amount 100%, the Blur method Zoom, and the quality Best. Let's make a star-filled background to place our sun onto. Go to File and New. Type in 1280 pixels for the width and 720 pixels for the height. We'll use the same resolution of 150 pixels per inch. Fill it with black and fit it onto your screen. Go to Filter, Noise, and Add Noise. Make the amount 20%, Gaussian, and monochromatic. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Make the radius 0.3 pixels. Open your Levels window by pressing Control or Command L. Drag the input black to the right and the input white to the left. Experiment with the numbers to get just the right amount and intensity of the stars. Click back on the tab of your sun and make both layers active. Press V to open your Move tool 
and drag the sun up onto the tab of your star's background. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the stars and then release. To move it, simply click on it and drag it into position. Let's add a fiery glow around its perimeter. Make a copy of the sun and name it Original. Name the sun below it Outer Glow. Double click on it to open its layer styles. Click Outer Glow and click on the color box. Type in F9B92F, which is the same number as you typed in earlier. Make the blend mode dissolve, the opacity 100%, and the size 30 pixels. Click on the arrow at the top right corner and choose Convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. We'll blur it with a radius of 2 pixels. Click on the FX button and choose Outer Glow. Click on the color box and type in B1 and 4 zeros. Make the blend mode normal the opacity 100% and the size 80 pixels. Make the top layer active, double click on it to open its layer styles and choose Inner Glow. Make the color white, the blend mode soft light, the opacity 100% and the size 32 pixels. Next, we'll make the bright areas of your sun into firestorms and the outer edge of the sun's surface more turbulent. Open your smudge tool and open your brush tip window. We'll make the size 30 pixels with a hardness of 0%. The blend mode is normal and the strength is 100%. If you want to make the brush larger or smaller, press the right or left bracket keys. Smudge the brightest areas near the edge outward to create firestorms and with a smaller brush size smudge the outer rim to create turbulence. Using these techniques you can create a massive sun with its fiery explosions, thermal winds and swirling turbulence. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.